Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft started rolling out Windows 11 24H2, which was last year's annual feature update, on the 1st of October 2024, as I have been talking about on the channel. And with the initial um, release, it wasn't made available to all devices. Microsoft pushed it out using a very slow controlled rollout. And even this device, which is compatible um, with Windows 11 and 24H2, didn't receive the update through Windows Update um, because I have driver issues, which is actually a known issue. And one of Windows 11 24H2's known issues. And um, I forced installed the update, as you may well know, for the purpose of this channel. And I so-called pay the price for that every day because I have got big driver issues, audio driver issues on the system, which do cause the odd blue screen of death from time to time. Now, just to let you know that it seems now that Microsoft is starting to automatically install Windows 11 24H2 on compatible PCs. And starting January the 16th this year, which was yesterday in my region, Microsoft has begun automatically downloading Windows 11 24H2 on devices that are fully compatible um, with the update and don't have any known issues and this is all according to this support document over on Microsoft Docs where Microsoft says we have reached a new stage in the phased rollout of version 24H2 eligible devices running home and pro editions of Windows 11 version 23H2 and 22H2 will be gradually updated to version 24H2 so what that means basically is it's going to be it's going to be rolled out using a controlled phased approach, controlled rollout, as I like to call it on the channel. And as of the 16th of January, um, Microsoft will order update the most compatible PCs to Windows 11 24H2. So even if you have one or two niggly issues, you're not going to get the update or you might be lost in the queue to get it automatically um, offered to you through Windows Update. So just take note of that. And... This is an automatic update, okay? So they say, will be gradually updated to version 24H2. They also mention that the automatic update targets only devices that are not managed by IT departments. So basically, your, this applies to um, more of your average home users than it would to corporations and enterprises. Now, something else to take note of um, is that if you want to get the update sooner than later, maybe you've been waiting for it, and you think that your device is fully compatible with no known issues, you can head over obviously to Windows Update and you can seek or check for the update. And this will then, if your device is fully compatible, it will display um, the update on your Windows Update page. And that's all according, as mentioned, to this support document where Microsoft says, if you don't want to wait for the automatic update, check if the update is available, as I've just shown you. And they say that if your device is ready for the update, you will see the option to download and install version 24H2. Now, although Microsoft is making the update um, more available and is basically automatically updating fully compatible devices, I'm just going to give you a quick heads up. As I've said quite a few times previously on the channel, there are still numerous known issues that are doing the rounds with Windows 11 24H2. I experience one of those on a day-to-day -day basis on this device, as mentioned. And what I would suggest, though, is I would personally wait, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, to at least March, April, before I even think of installing 24H2 on my Windows 11 22H2 or 23H2 device. That's just my personal take on it. Um, because there are still quite a few bugs in regards to 24H2. So what I would suggest, because Microsoft has said they are going to be automatically updating devices now that are compatible, what I would suggest if you don't want to get the update is I would pause the update or pause updates at least for a good couple of weeks until we get into, I would say, March, April, even the beginning of May, and obviously, if you view the channel, I'll keep you updated with what's going on with bugs and issues and so on. And then I would only think of um, unpausing. And then obviously, you can check for updates. And then if your device is fully compatible, uh, you will get the update offered to your machine. So there we go. Just wanted to keep you posted. As Microsoft says, they've entered into a new, a new phase of the actual rollout of um, 
Windows 11 24H2, which they call a new stage, and they are now automatically going to be installing 24H2 on fully compatible devices. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.